Right, so first learning objective, we're going to see the rule of three and how we can find our way using, uh, using the spinous process of the thoracic spine and by following the rule of three to find the transverse process when it's needed, yes? Because uh, the problem is that after the fourth vertebra, thoracic vertebra, they have long inclined long and inclined uh, spinous processes so that's why see here uh, one two three four five six seven and this is t1 t2 t3 and after four the spinous processes are more inclined and long four five six and then seven eight nine and ten even more inclined so the spinous processes they end up being much lower than the transverse processes and you have the rule of three rule of three says that uh, can you look up towards me okay this is c6 okay. so this is c7 and i put a small mark here and then from here starts T1, T2, T3. So we have three vertebras. So the, this is the spinous process T1, T2, T3. The rule of three says that the spinous processes of T1, T2, T3 is the same level, same horizontal plane with the transverse processes. And you just need to go two thumbs out to the side so this is t3 go one two thumbs so now i am indirectly not directly because i palpate through the muscles and the spine the transverse process is deeper under the muscles and of course here i also have the ribs going down yep so this is t3 t1 t2 t3 and then i have t4 t5 t4 t5 t6 the rule of three now says that the, uh, the transverse processes, they are half a level up and out. So this is the spinous process of T4. So the transverse process will be half a level. So it will be here, there. Here's the spinous process of T4. Sorry, uh, Julian, yeah, I use... This is for the last time. So this is four, five, and six. So this is four. So the transverse, this is spinous process of T4, and the, the transverse process will be half a level up. So one, two will be here. Here is the transverse process of T4. Okay? And the same here. The transverse process of T5 will be here, of T6 will be here. And then I have 7, 8, 9. Now it's a whole level. So T7 is here. So the transverse process of T7, although the, the spinous process is here, the transverse process will be a whole level, will be here. Next to the spinous process of T6. So here, this here is the transverse process of T7. And then T8, the same, will be here. T9, the same, will be here. And then the last three, nine, uh, sorry, 10, 11, 12. 10, 11, 12, it's the same level again. That's the rule of three, okay? So you have a nice explanation here of the rule of three. Thank you very much. We have um, active range of motion. Yeah? So we know how to palpate and you the rule of three. And now active range of motion. Usually for the upper thoracic spine, I like to ask the patient to have the hands behind the back. And then rotate right, rotate left. So this is for the upper part. And then when I'm here, I, I come from this side and ask him, okay, rotate. Good. And I want to see the rotation because we said upper and middle, upper and middle thoracic spine is good for rotation. 
has to have rotation and you feel this and I see here then to the other side to the left rotation very good and now side bending to the right side bending to the left good and now flexion yeah and then extension yeah good and if I'm gonna focus more on the lower thoracic spine hands across your chest now rotate and then rotate to the right yeah good. so this is targeting more the lower than side flexion so the impact of these movements are more the lower thoracic spine yeah so sometimes you will see people doing this way only some other times people because this is more targeted for the upper part this is more targeted for the lower part and you feel the difference yourself put your hands behind your back do extension where do you feel it more uh, of my back. here yeah okay now take your hands down put your hands like this now go extension where do you feel it now a bit higher or lower? A bit. Or lower. A little bit lower. Okay, so we can this. But overall, you can, if the person has difficulty doing this, hands here is always the more easy, the more easy way. And then I can also apply some overpressure, rotation, and apply overpressure, and then rotation to the right. Because rotation is, rotation, remember, is the primary movement of the thorax which is also upper, lower, mid thoracic spine. So rotation is very important. Rotate. Yeah, and I want to have a, a good feeling of the rotation. Of course, I observe where it takes place. Now, in this sitting position, the hips are out of the rotation. Of course, the lumbar spine will rotate as well. That's why oftentimes I come and I check where he is rotating. Is he rotating from here or from down there? Sometimes I want to see. And of, of course, I see the rotation coming from the top. Yeah, very good. Now, as we said, very common, because now I will show you a differentiation test, a differential diagnosis between the lower, lower cervical spine and upper thoracic spine. Because we said very often, yeah, it here. very often, lower cervical spine problems refer pain to the mid thoracic to the scapula area yes lower cervical either facet joint problems or disc problems refer pain here so lower neck refers pain here to the thorax of course we know that local problems here in the thorax create problems locally here so if i ask you put your hands across your chest and now rotate and look over your right shoulder and if I have a client now that's telling me now I get my pain here so I'm here he, he say has rotated and now what I will do I will maintain the thorax rotated so I come and, and then because I push here or if you can see like in the picture you can I can hold and then I can tell him okay now turn your head away return yes if the symptoms change and he has less symptoms, it means that because of the neck rotation, he was getting this pain here. If the, the head rotates and the pain goes away or diminishes significantly, it means that the pain here was because of the neck. But if rotating the neck was making no difference, it means that the pain is probably local pain because of the thoracic rotation. Yeah? So this is one way. The other way I like to do is be more specific. I come here and I block and I then control the head and I can put over pressure and then I can derotate only the head. The thorax is not rotated or I can keep the head here and then I can derotate. So this is a nice different differentiation. So thorax and neck together, rotated and then I derotate the head. And if the symptoms go down, the symptoms were because of the neck, head and neck. Okay, thank you.